In the life of Susan B. Anthony Ellis, it has never been about one person. It has always been about the right people at the right time coming together to achieve something beautiful for life. All of the legislators, all of the donors, all of the Susan B. Anthony List team, those people who went door to door to win this election, everyone doing what they do well comes together to do something beautiful. Coming from the living room, folding and stuffing mailings to a very large team in the middle of D.C., we've seen the most important thing come to fruition, and that is that the true mission of our organization, the reality of what we want, which is to save boys and girls from the horror of abortion and to minister to their mothers, is real and very reachable. Susan B. Anthony is the premier organization when you're running in a campaign. They are an invaluable partner. Somebody can look at that Susan B. Anthony name and see it beside my name. They know who I am and what I stand for and how I'll vote in the future to protect lives. Elections matter. Elections have tremendous consequences. We've seen that in this last election. So that is why Susan B. Anthony is so effective. Uh, they get things done. In my race, it was about a mission and, a, and a, about the message and the great resources that SBA List provided me to educate the public and me being a voice to those people who feel like they haven't had a voice in Congress. We're so grateful to what SBA List was able to do. In my last Senate race, Susan B. Anthony volunteers knock on almost 50,000 doors. Those feet on the street made a big difference and it was great to see. In the last two election cycles, Susan B. Anthony List has made more than 2.6 million pro-life voter contacts. Our 1,524-person canvassing team has knocked on more than 1.6 million doors and made more than 530,000 person-to-person phone calls. We backed up that high-touch contact with nearly 20 million online impressions and 2.9 million pieces of campaign literature and voter mail. We had to get a very strong pro-life commitment from the people that we were helping to elect. Candidate Trump promised to defund Planned Parenthood, to nominate only pro-life Supreme Court justices and federal judges, to protect taxpayer funds from abortion through the Hyde Amendment, and to pass the pain-capable bill, that 20-week ban on abortion. So we embedded those promises into all of our Get Out the Vote programs in this past election. We elected pro-life President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence to the White House and strong pro-life leaders to the U.S. Senate. The bottom line here is we've got the House, the Senate, and the White House. We need to be aggressive. We need to go on the offense because this will not last forever. We have to make sure that that muscle that has been built in the election strengthens the grassroots power that elected Donald Trump and this great Senate and House. I've never seen a ground game politically like what Susan B. Anthony can do. And it's tangible stuff. We won by about 48,000 votes. And if you take a look at the number of doors that Susan B. Anthony List knocked on, it was the difference maker. We achieved victory in 2014, in 2016. Now we're in the middle of helping Donald Trump deliver on these fantastic commitments for life, but we really need to look towards 2018. Our mission may be difficult, but it is not complicated. We're living in a moment that will decide the fate of boys and girls, and when they grow up, they will know that you were part of fighting for their lives. Now is not a time to falter, and now is a time to press forward. When we do win, we will see our future unfolding in a bright and more beautiful world because of all the new children that have entered it.